Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Flomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. Trying, uh, trying out a new headset today, uh, looking like a helicopter pilot, so, but, you know, hopefully it'll uh, make the sound better for you, so let me know in the comments um, if this works uh, better than the previous videos. I got some uh, feedback that uh, the audio was barely audible, so uh, let me know how this goes. In this episode, uh, as you can probably tell already, uh, what I'd like to talk about is the glass mapper for Sitecore. Uh, recently I uh, ran into a thread, I believe on Stack uh, Overflow, where there were some users debating on whether to use glass mapper or not, and to me that felt so strange because I've been using it for at least four or five years, at least, at least that long, so developing without that just seems so strange and alien to me that I, I just got so used and spoiled by glass mapper that I you know can't even envision having to go back to the old way or the standard way of um, uh, mapping to strongly typed um, classes uh, in your solutions uh, someone I remember asked me how to um, uh, how to bind your you know type how to hydrate your type with the data from Sitecore without using glass mapper and it threw me off for a minute because I <laughs> just haven't been doing it for for years and there is a good reason for that Sitecore glass mapper is a, a an ORM object relational mapping framework and it is the best of a kind there uh, it's fast uh, never had any issues with performance and it's easy to use it's easy to set up all you do is install the NuGet package to your solution publish and off you go uh, it's easy to use in your code it uses the decorator the attribute patterns um, and inversion control dependency injection is also available so there aren't really uh, many drawbacks for that. The, the big concern uh, from uh, users on that thread was what about maintainability? Um, is this uh, framework being well uh, maintained and supported? Is it going away? What am I going to do in years? Well, I'll tell you this right now. I've been using it for five, four or five years, like I said, and never had any problems with that. Mike Edwards, shout out to you. Great, great developer. Um, uh, the creator of Psychor and uh, maintainer of Glass Mapper uh, has been working on this for years. Uh, it's always been um, updating and fixing bugs. You can actually reach out to him uh, on social channels if you'd like directly and he'll respond to you. He's a great guy. Um, thanks for creating this awesome, awesome framework, Mike. Shout out to you. So let's maybe perhaps look at some of the coolest features of the Cycle Glass Mapper. We won't be able to go through the entire uh, feature set, but let's look at some at least. So the main thing, right? So object relational mapping framework. So it allows you to map your types to Cycle content populated very, very easily. Uh, it allows you to use concrete types uh, as well as interfaces. So what you do is uh, in Cycle Glass Mapper, you um, define attributes. Um, on, on your type and on your properties, the ones you'd like to be mapped to Sitecore items, and then you, in your code, you can grab a Sitecore items and cast it into that type. So that type can be a class or an interface. Now, having interfaces as an option is really, really cool, and I know by the book it may st sound uh, pretty strange because, because of the um, uh, separation of concerns and interfaces aren't supposed to know about the data source and by adding Sitecore specific attributes we're sort of coupling that and, well not sort of but we are coupling it with Sitecore uh, yada 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 but you know what in this case I would side with interfaces uh, why well it's much faster to use them than types uh, it's much easier much uh, the development process much more streamlined and I'm yet to run into a use case where I regretted doing that and I worked on uh, multiple Sitecore implementation varying from small to uh, very large enterprise solutions multilingual and global so take it as you like uh, the next feature is uh, we mentioned let's see we mentioned inversion control edit frames 
Uh, version uh, 4 of the Psycho Glass Mapper came with a really cool feature that I'm a huge fan of um, is dynamic or programmatic uh, edit buttons in the core database. Uh, for those of you that ever had to support page editor or experience editor that it's called now, uh, know that basic fields, uh, once you start supporting anything outside of the basic fields in page editor or experience editor, you have to start using edit frames for complex field types. And to do that, you'd have to go into the core database and define the custom, uh, or use a set of default buttons or define a custom button for that. Well, Psycho Glass Mapper allows you to do that programmatically uh, through your code and create those buttons on the fly. So no more going into the core database for that and uh, uh, also uh, no more serial having to serialize uh, the core database exactly. Um, I've seen many cases when the only thing you have to serialize from the core database um, were those buttons. Um, and it, so having that done by the framework dynamically on the fly for you is very, very neat. Uh, simplifies deployments too. So let's see, let's actually go ahead and take a look at the website real quick and I'm, I'm sure we'll see a couple more cool things. So this is a generic glass mapper website so we actually have to go into the Psycro section and uh, let's see here, so you can actually see the feedback from Nicola Gotsev, uh, Glass Mapper is a way to go. So here we go, so this is the Psycro section of the website, now the probably uh, if you're just starting off with a framework what I would suggest you to do is to go into the tutorials and Mike has created a great library of all of the things or you know the majority of the things that you can do with Psycro Glass Mapper. Let's see, have I missed any cool features here? I'm sure there I have off the top of my head. Um, oh, of course, inversion of control, dynamic types, dynamic items, uh, casting, just be careful with the dynamic um, keyword. There are you know, some performance concerns with that, uh, but this is also really, really cool. Uh, inversion control, uh, defense injection with uh, Glass Mapper allows you to inject context, uh, custom cycle context, which in turn allows you to do uh, unit testing um, and especially integration testing. Unit testing uh, would require additional frameworks. There are some NuGet packages you can get, but integration te uh, testing with Glass Mapper is a breeze. And uh, let's see, using interfaces models, look at that, advanced page editor, TDS, go oh. There's another cool feature, TDS. If you do use TDS, TDS has an automatic, um, an auto code generation feature, uh, which you can tie in with the Psycho Glass Mapper and have your all your models and uh, generated uh, dynamic uh, automatically for you. Uh, the only quirk on that one is that it puts everything into a single file, and as the solution grows, that file can get pretty pretty big. So every time you do updates, TDS has to regenerate it and you know with thousands of lines of code that can start taking longer and longer over time. So that's the only concern. There are some ways to I, I believe split it into separate files but I just never got around to it. It's you know once you start hacking it's um, so um, I've actually haven't used TDS for about half a year so hopefully they've added that. Uh, uh, guys at Hedgehog if you haven't uh, please split that into separate files. All right, so Glass, Psycho Glass Mapper, a uh, great framework, fast, has a load of features, has caching, oh, of course, lazy loading. Uh, you can lazy load your uh, lists of items, let's say if you're um, doing a lot of navigational stuff. Um, so I'm sure I'm missing a lot of things, but the point is, if you're about to start a Psycho implementation, please look into the Glass Mapper. If you're considering an, an ORM framework, Glass Mapper is your choice. Um, I stand by that. And um, uh, if uh, if someone comes in with a custom framework, uh, if you get a, um, you know, I don't want to speak bad about some other frameworks out there, uh, but give it a chance, take a look, compare the features, but. You know, over the years, I've seen many options and I'm yet to consider switching. So take it as you like. And uh, there you go, Psycho Glass Mapper for you. So again, um, if you like the video, uh, 
go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up, put some comments below, uh, subscribe to my channel, and for more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com. And my name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psychor MVP, and I'll see you next Friday. Over and out.